Right, well here we see the makings of what will become as bow number 37. It's a Royal Enfield 500 engine which has been totally stripped and uh, we've already seen the crankshaft in the lathe after I lightened it and it's been rebalanced and lightened by about a kilogram altogether this flywheel assembly and put back together and true and this is the one we saw in the uh, lathe over there where overall it had a total run out of about a thousandth of an inch so it's now in the crank cases with new main bearings all round both sides and I'll just demonstrate I'm really pleased with how freely this one spins I'll spin it with uh, my finger and thumb down there on the time inside main shaft if we're watching here see the Conrad go down so far and I let go it springs up and if I turn it back that way let go it comes back up and it's just so easy to turn right round between finger and thumb The only sort of difficult part is when you come up against the counterweight of the crankshaft itself, which is there to sort of counterbalance the weight of the piston and the conrod. Look at that. That is, uh, you couldn't wish for better. So I've got the crank cases clamped together. And now I'm going to separate them again and put some sealing compound on the gasket faces. And then... I'll bolt them together properly, but they're squeezed together. Uh, there is a gasket in there already, so it'll just be a smear of gasket cement on top of that and bolt it together, and then it will be bolted up properly and able to spin that freely. So that will be very nice. That should make a very smooth free revving engine, I would have thought. So there we are, as bow number 37 there.